Welcome back, everyone. Well, the Thundering Herd Kids Club back again for the 2023 season, and we're so excited to be talking about it right now with the Director of Marketing and Fan Engagement, Sydney Shelton. Sydney, thank you for being by Studio 3 today and joining us. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Excited to be here. All right. Well, tell us about the uh, Thundering Herd Kids Club. What What is it? And, and tell us about its relaunch. Yeah. So, you know, really bringing that back, it's important for the kids to have something of their own. It's a $30 membership, and kids get a welcome pack sent directly to their home. You don't have to come pick okay. it up. Emails um, every month and maybe even a birthday card for Marco. So, you know, some new things in the mix that we're super excited about. Which is really fun to get those younger kids really involved in that, uh, that Marshall family, that game day atmosphere. How do parents get their signed up, or is there a deadline they need to have that, that done by? Yeah, no deadline at all. Just go to herdzone.com. You can go to the Fans First tab, and then it says Kids Club right there for you. Okay. And, and talk to me, Sydney, about why this is so important and why it was really a priority for you all to, to bring this program back. Yeah, it's important because we want to start them as a fan when they're young. You know, the 5-year-old turns into the 10-year-old that turns into the 18-year-old that's going to come be a student at Marshall. And then that turns into the alumni, the fan, and then you're a fan for life. So it's important that we ingress it in them at a very young age, and then we just grow them as a fan from there. And, I mean, talk to me about kind of the, the roots of this program. I know you, you had this for years and then decided to, to bring it back. Yeah, you know, we kind of had it. It was just kind of something that was there sure. that we didn't give a whole lot of love to. But how important is it that we are, you know, getting our kids involved and that gets the parents involved and the older siblings. And from there, it just spreads like a wildfire. And so it is important that we give back to our kids. I mean, they are the, the future. The future yeah. So, you know, giving back to them and just getting them set mm -hmm. up for success to be a part of the herd. Is there an age limit for this city? Is this geared toward um, kids of a certain age? Geared towards younger kids. We want to go from that, like, 12 and under age. Okay. And if you wouldn't mind, Cindy, remind parents at home if they're watching, and they're like, man, I'd really love for my kid to be a part of the Thundering Herd Kids Club. How do they get signed up, and what are some of those perks and benefits yeah, they'll get? So signing up, just go into Herd Zone. So it's herdzone.com. Okay. At the top, there's a tab that says Fans First, and you'll click on that, and then it'll say Kids Club. So that is how you sign up. It's a $30 membership. The welcome packet is sent directly to your home, and it will also include monthly emails and maybe a birthday card for Marco. All right. Well, Sydney, thank you so much for stopping by the show today. Again, we're super excited for football season and to see all those future little ones and all their Marshall green and, and getting uh, really excited for what is that kind of Marshall atmosphere. I'm going to send things back over to Susan, though, because I know she had a chance to catch up with the Marching Thunder. We're going to hear from them and Susan right now. Oh, that's right. You know, uh, you'll notice a louder sound from the band this year because the band has grown. Let's take a listen. The Marching Thunder is the largest and most visible student organization on campus. A lot of practice goes into game day, which started over the summer. Dr. Christopher Schletter says that they're working on some Metallica songs this year, as well as their traditional tunes. The stadium plays a lot of their house music, which is always a lot of fun. But being the college band, we are the history behind these sporting events. We are, we are the ones playing the school songs, and we bring the spirit, along with cheerleaders and dance, to those football games and hope lead the crowd into getting excited about what's going on in the field. And I'm a, I'm a band mom myself, my daughter, one of the feature twirlers, so I love game day. This Saturday is also band day. Dozens of school band students will be with the Marching Thunder out on the field. And, of course, you're going to see Marco and the cheer and the dance team. But, you know, this isn't the only opening day this Saturday. It is not. We want to run down a few of those games here. For those of you that are wondering about your home team, lots of our teams have home games this Saturday. Let's run down the start time. So Marshall Albany starts here at 6 o'clock Saturday evening. Long Island University coming to OU for a noon kickoff. And then Ball State playing at the Univers University of Kentucky. And that is Saturday at noon. 
Then next Saturday, we've got the home opener for the Mountaineers. Game time, 6 o'clock against Duquesne. But Susan, man, they have a monster road game to start things off yeah. this weekend. Starting the weekend at Penn State, it is a road game for them, a big rivalry renewed. And then Youngstown State travels to Columbus for Ohio State University's first game of the season, and that is going to be a noon kickoff. But what do you say? Since we're here at Marshall, why don't we just let the cheerleaders and the dance team lead us out here with a nice little Marshall cheer. Girls, we're going to turn it over to yep. you if you'll lead us out here with Marco. All right. Get us ready. Ready.